Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am super excited to bring to you this next video. It is the complete build of the ultimate rocket mass heater. Now this rocket mass heater is very unique in that it's portable and it's movable. Most rocket mass heaters, once they're built in place, they're there forever. And it's built completely of recycled materials and repurposed materials. And it ended up being beautiful. So it has three features to it that make it a rocket mass stove that are really critical. The bench. The actual stove itself. And then the stove pipe. The stove pipe is what I call my hot air vacuum because I came up with a unique insulation system for stove pipe, double wall stove pipe that I created myself as a DIY insulated with aircrete. And so you, you've got the bench, the stove and the stove pipe, but each one of those has some really unique features as well. The mass bench has its own directional valve and it drops two feet out of the exhaust down from the stove and I've never seen any other uh, stove be able to do that so that's kind of incredible the stove is a hybrid batch box system completely insulated with aircrete um, it's got a smooth exhaust, exhaust portal with a vortex area where extra oxygen goes in and it has a completely aircrete heat riser. Um, it also has a mass ring right around the downdraft on it and this thing is completely portable so the last element of it also has some unique features the stovepipe uh, that's insulated. It's insulated with aircrete it has its own through the window insert that is actual part of the stovepipe that goes out and it works awesome. It creates a massive pole that overcomes a two foot drop from the exhaust portal down into the bench and I've never seen any rocket mass stove be able to achieve that so watch this video you're gonna like it. That is perfect. And that's good enough to hold it. This tank is going to serve as the burn chamber. This is kind of a hybrid rocket mass stove. So this whole tank will have an inch of insulating refractory mix all around it. Um, the exhaust is going to come out the back. Eventually, I'm going to take a wire brush and get all the calcium off this. This was a uh, stainless steel tank on the inside of a just a water heater.
up all the paint. You see how the paint just kind of melts? It'll get hot enough that all that'll just start boiling on. This was blue last night, huh? Yeah, there's the burn chamber, babe. The teeth. This is gonna be, I'm gonna cut a five inch diameter hole and this is gonna fit out the exhaust of the heat chamber. And this is where the vortex chamber is gonna sit. It'll be cool, you see. Oh, this metal's brittle. That's the saw blade. Just need to tack it in place. With one good tack. And that's what it looks like. I'm firing the mix a little bit just to activate the um, water glass, the sodium silicate in it. It's hard to believe this dry mix turns into a really hard concrete, a really hard cement. It is pretty amazing stuff. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Got this. Huh? Are you stirring that for dad? Yeah. You're such a big boy.
and as you can see it's starting to get round it takes a, a few minutes of going back and forth and putting it up on the what you're putting it around to do it but I don't have a, a crank with a, a rounding tool on it so this is what I do perfect yep Look how close I am, babe. Just have to shave a little off and I'm golden. And then I'll cut the rest of it out. And this is where the sheet metal, or the stainless steel riser shroud will sit. And then the exhaust will come out of here. And this thing will be able to spin and you can spin the exhaust in any direction you want when you're erecting it. So it can go in any way. Once I take that skin off. so I cut out a little indention on it and it's kind of a bear to get started but once it's in it's really close to perfect oh that wasn't too bad Are you helping?
Okay, you put some in now, bud. Good job. Now I'll pack it down. Okay, put another scoop in, bud. Good job. Now I'll pack it down. Hold on. Don't dump any more in yet. I gotta get that layer out. I don't need to adjust this a quarter inch or an eighth one way or the other. Gosh. Okay. Don't wipe it. See that line there? I've never so seen it in the flesh when, when your little fire starters go off. Look at it suck. Dang, that was fast. Yeah, it's that's it working. It's already sucking hard. 
That's crazy. We Just that little bit of heat. You could put a candle in here and get this fluid. That's amazing. Turn Hear it? it? Oh, it hey, I want to get that noise. Yeah, the... Uh, that's a rocket stove. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, be, be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications as well. And all these AirCrete projects that I'm doing are DIY. There's things that you can do yourself. A lot of people out there are getting excited about AirCrete as I am. And Check us out at our Etsy store. We're at the Honeydew Carpenter Shop on Etsy, and there you'll be able to find out everything you need to know about building a foam mate for yourself uh, to make aircrete or have me send one out to you.